Bit all right. <coughs> right, now this is my Freaksy Pulsar circuit. They're like a feed my AC Freaksy through it, or even DC pulses. I can probably use it as a ignition core driver, and you can hear the relay clicking. You can listen carefully. And I can adjust the speed. Speed it up. The LED stops flashing, but it's still speeding up. If I see? Then I slow it down. The LED starts pulsing. Flashing, in other words. Now over here, I have built another circuit. This one is a triac version. Now if you look carefully, I've got the same setup as the other one there, but I've got a triac there. Now because the LED is flashing, the flash LED is flashing, it's sending a signal down number 4, which is the same as one that links to number 8, which is a positive input goes through the 30 ohm resistor to the gate of the triac and it still keeps the gate going and allows the, the AC signals to flow through it. Now, you look at this one here. Hang on. Plug it in, hang on. Plug it in. Okay. Okay. The flash of the LED is flashing. Now, if I feed a signal into it, from my signal generator, I run one output to the main terminal 1 on that board, and the main terminal 2 and the other output on there, these two here, makes the outputs. Now you put these across your tongue, you can feel it spike, pulse, spike, pulse, spike, pulse, and you can even speed it up and slow it down. This is not bad, this is a triad version, this is AC. We're sending AC frequencies through it, just like that one there. That can be used for AC or DC signals. Now, you see that one there. This is pretty good. It works absolutely brilliant. I've actually tested it out on a breadboard, and it works well. Now, here's the schematic for it again. I've got the 5 kb potential on the right. I've got a 470 ohm current limiting resistor running from 8 to the 5 kb tensile limit. I've got the 330 ohm electrolytic capacitor between 1 and 2. 2 is linked to number 6. I've got the flash LED between 3 and 4. Every time the LED flashes, it sends a signal down through here from the next positive to the gate, and, and it triggers the gate. So it allows the AC to flow. So this is really good here. See, you can actually control the pulse and of the AC signals from a parasite zapper or frequency generator. Now when you put this across your tongue, the output here, that's from main terminal 2 and the uh, other frequency generator output there, you can feel it pulse and spike and pulse and spike and, when you, and you can adjust it. So that's pretty handy in there. It's a really good experiment that is. That's the circuit there. Okay, so that's the relay version. That's the triac version using this. Using the um, um, SC141D triac for AC switching. Okay, that's about it. Thank you for watching.